Hello, ho, ho, and yeah, welcome back to Python. And now we are, yeah, talking about generated user interfaces. And yeah, I want to show you how to create a generated user interface, which is simply an interface that can be used by non programmers. So when you're programming something which should be used by people who don't know Python, you can generate a user interface. And how that works, I will show you now. There are many packages regarding that. So maybe I will make multiple videos regarding that topic. But yeah, today we are looking at Tkinter. I hope I I'm pronouncing it correctly. I worked a lot with that, but I'm not sure how to pronounce it because yeah, I never really talked about it. But yeah, today is the day. So first of all, we are just creating a very little user interface today. We are importing tkinter and our GUI is our variable. It is an object it, because it is tkinter tk. And yeah, now we are having a um, GUI as an object. And yeah, that's, um, it will only loop, uh, it will only work if we are using the function GUI point main loop, which means that the uh, that it won't immediately closes, that it is kind of a loop asking permanently for an input of the user. And now if we start our little program, you can already see again, you should see a gray screen like that. I will put it on the white. And yeah, nothing is on that green uh, on that green screen, on that gray screen. But we will gonna we are gonna change that. So let's GUI point geometry. First of all, we should decide which size our program has. We can type lang something like 300 and 800, like that. Gives us a pretty slim one because yeah, 300 is the x-axis, 800 the y-axis. We want the opposite, so 800 and 300. Why do we want to do the opposite? Because then I can simply, here we go, we, I can simply place it here. And you can still see everything. So again, we don't have anything. We want to yeah, now create something like a label or a button because most GUIs have buttons. So let's create our button. We call it button one equals mm -hmm. tkinter point button. Now in brackets, we need a few arguments like text equals the um, exit command equals exit. Important is command takes a method as an input kind of the pointer to the method. You can't do any, uh, you can't, yeah, have any arguments in that. So yeah, just the method without the brackets important. Otherwise it won't work. And now we just declared a variable, but we also need to place it on our GUI. So we are typing button one point place, typing the X axis and the Y axis I chose 10 and yeah, 50. Now again, if we run our program, now you see exit. Pretty small, let me do it a little bit. Yeah, let me zoom a little bit here. You can see the exit. And yeah, we are exiting by clicking on exit. Pretty simple. Now, what we can else can do, we can change the background color, big e equals red. It will also work on coded colors, or I guess red, green, blue, the scale also works. But yeah, you can simply type red, and as you can see, the exit is now red. Now a program that just, just closes itself by clicking a red button is not that interesting. So let's learn something else. Let's include the label. Label one equals tkinter point label. In brackets, we have our text equals nine more clicks to go. 
And yeah, back we can also change the background color, but first let's do it with this out one. Label one. By the way, um, the place function, pretty important. You later we use pack or use a layout. This is just as an early phase. But yeah, in later videos, we are learning different ways how to place our yeah, stuff on the GUI. Now we are just using place, which allows us to use a specific X and Y axis. But yeah, it, if we are kind of using full size, he won't change anything of the, uh, regarding the position, position. So yeah, let's do X 10 and Y 100. And now if we place it, you can see nine more clicks to go. And yeah, exit won't do anything. So what do you, uh, what we're gonna do? We wanna uh, create a function. Oh no, I wanted to show you that labels also can have a background color. So let's say background equals green. And yeah. Now let's say def delayed exit delayed exit here we go and yeah this will be our new command we are typing something like yeah tkinter or label one point cget so what is cget cget is a function regarding our label with cget we can get any variable like text which gives us the text but we don't need the whole text. We don't only need our little number at position zero. And we need it as an integer. We um, have to yeah, declare variable like this. Count equals, yeah. Now what we wanna do, we want to decrease um, this value by yeah, changing the label so we can label config allows us to yeah change any of the arguments we have given before like text equals mm -hmm. or let's do something like text equals label one point c get point text mm -hmm. here we go text And yeah, count equals this one. And yeah, text equals F. Long brackets, here we go. Count minus one. And yeah, count minus one. And yeah, I'm totally stupid, just text, but without it. So from position one. Okay. Now let's start it. Okay, I forgot to update my command. It is delayed exit. And yeah, if count equals zero, exit. Label one. Now what is really important, I forgot to type that, we have to get access to our label, which is a global variable. So we have to type global label. Now again, label one is not defined. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, really important. I told you before, but I made the same mistake. Of course you can just, yeah. Of course you uh, have to yeah leave the brackets like this. Now we have our little counter. He's decreasing and he, now he closes. Perfect. Okay, 
that's probably everything I wanted to show regarding that topic. And yeah, I hope you had uh, learned something. Next time we will show you other things you can place on your GUI moving forward. Or maybe I will even show you how to pack things, how to yeah, make your GUI be accessible on multiple settings of your monitor and stuff like that. Okay. I wish you have a wonderful evening, dinner time, night time, whatever time it is in your country. See you on the next video and bye bye. Hello, ho, ho. Yeah, welcome back to Python. And yeah, today we are looking at how to create a user generated interface. And I'm totally stupid because it is called graphical user interface. So yeah, welcome to the outtakes. Hello. Whoa. And I am, no, this is also an outtake because I was confused because I did the mistake last <laughs> twice. So, yeah. Hello, ho, ho. And yeah, welcome back to Python. Welcome um, back not to NumPy. Where am I? <laughs>